Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 7 of this Egypt Let's Play for Total War Rome Remastered. And what a start to the episode we've got. We've got King versus King action as promised. We are going to sally forth at Palmyra and take on the Seleucid faction leader. He's got another general with him as well and the rest are just trashy units. Our main concern is this. I mean, that would be difficult enough to deal with purely because, you know, General's bodyguards are strong. Um, but I'm pretty sure with the use of our cavalry and chariots, we'd easily take care of him. But that is a very big General's bodyguard and they are very experienced. Even though chariots are like super good against cavalry, I would not want to put my king against his, ideally. Um, I think the aim is going to be to whittle them down from range using our archers to just chew these guys up, move our men forward, do what we can in terms of the cavalry, but there's no way that desert cavalry is going to stand up to them whatsoever. We're going to have to use up our pikemen um, and hopefully get it done that way. So, without any further ado, let's jump in to some king-on-king -king action. This would just be a great victory to have it gets rid of a decent army but it gets rid of a very very good general a very experienced general and it would be a big blow to the Seleucids then we can work out what we're going to do with the other stacks figure out where we're going to attack them next um is it going to be at Tarsus is it going to be at Antioch are we going to work out what we're going to do near Halicarnassus and potentially divert some forces there I really want to start moving forward and just absolutely just getting rid of the Seleucids. They've been a, a problem for too long. Um, and then we can focus on getting back the Pontons for declaring war on us. And let's face it, they're almost certainly going to take Ankara and I probably won't even fight the battle to try and defend that um, just because it's full of peasants. Um, this is going to take a little bit longer than I thought to load, but that's okay. It's a big battle, lots of men. And I've only just turned the game on. I always find that loading up the first battle and just the first load in general takes the takes the longest right here they are and here he is let's go and have a look can't remember his name oh there we go Aristarchus that's the that's the man nice hat and here's the other general I'm surprised there's not some more differentiation for a faction leader but you can't have everything can you right Okie okay, first thing we're going to do, we need these boys getting out there ASAP. Okay, then behind them, we'll bring out the bowmen. The cavalry, I mean, look, they're probably going to go off to one side or the other. We'll just bring out the cavalry when, when we're ready. Them there. Them there. Where's the general? We can kind of put him there. Then there are, you know, the archer fire should provide us with some support. Right. Let's have it. Yeah, they're running away. As expected. Actually, if we can. Oh, this is actually quite a good opportunity. To destroy the stragglers with our cav. His air cavalry is now way off. And can't provide any form of support. So if we can do some flanking maneuvers on some of the stragglers, that would be good. Right, get out there. don't want to swamp the gates at the moment we want our horses to get out then we'll move out our archers right that'll do archers out you come you start moving like that Okay. 
I need to keep a sharp eye on their generals because we do not want to be engaging in any cav on cav battles with them. That would not be a good idea. Right, archers. Oh, that's going to be big. Okay. This could be... Oh, yep. Just about to say this could be a terrible idea. Right. We've absolutely annihilated that unit already. We want to put on guard mode because we don't want them chasing. Ah, uh, this unit's now fucked. That unit is really badly damaged. So we're going to focus on this one next. You don't even really need to worry about that. It's so damaged now. Are they withdrawing? Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh. Pussies. Pussies. Well... That's not what we wanted. No two ways about it. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Frustrating. Just be prepared to cancel the order. I really don't want them to be withdrawing. Right, are they going to turn around last minute? Hopefully not. Oh, just... Fuck. Oh no, we got him. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, not the battle that I was hoping for. Ladies and gentlemen. Right, some of them are actually... The least we can do is just mop up these. Whichever way they decide to lower their pikes, they're going to get charged from the reverse. There we go. <sighs> Sorry, boys and girls. We didn't get what we wanted, but there's nothing we can do when they decide to withdraw. But at least we did take out, you know, we've taken out a decent portion. We've taken, what, three militia hot potato units out. Oh, yeah, we do want to chase them down. I genuinely thought that they might stand and fight. I, I, I didn't see this happening. But we lost, what, a handful of men? We lost 11. That's fine. We lost 11. They lost... Oh, it doesn't show us properly because they've left the battlefield. Victory lies in your grasp. And there is nothing the enemy can do but run! Oh, I feel that that was really anticlimactic. I was ready for a scrap. We lost 11, they lost 486. So, it's taken out a th about a third of their army. We'll sign for that. I feel like we probably just need to think about whether we pursue or not. Because they've got other armies in and around. Where have they gone? Ah, oh, no, they're, they're a long way away now. So if those armies are going to retreat, then these ones definitely are. So we don't need to worry too much. We can definitely mount some good defense. Um, da -da -da -da. Let's figure out what we're going to do with the settlement. We 
we probably want this, don't we? We do want to be able to recruit some better troops. But we could do with having some better public order so we can increase tax rate. And it's not going to be yet a recruitment hub for us. Now, what to do, what to do, what to do, is this army, this army is building rams. So they are going to assault. And we can't get there quick enough either way. So we've got a stack here that can, by the looks of it, just about make Palmyra. This stack can definitely make Palmyra. We've got a decent force here. We've got an okay force here. I mean, what I am confident about is there's nothing lurking around beneath us. So that is something. So. Let's figure out what we want to do. I think that we should make the most of this army. What have we got in here? That's reasonable. That's okay. I put this here. And give you those two. So that's six. They've got 14. Admittedly, a lot of that will be just shite. But we haven't got any cav. And we've only got one unit of archers. Public order is decent, and we're building that so. There's three units of trash. How about those as well? Yeah, we're fine. Okay, so this army, I'm confident, can beat that stack. Even with a lack of archers, etc. We can defend ourselves very well here. So that means this army... I'm going to move it towards Hatcher just in case, because they're successful, we want to take it back. We can go after them, we're not too far from Antioch, and we're within relief distance of Palmyra. So we're going to put this army here. I know we've still got a slot available, but it is what it is. Okay. We're going to continue to move around here just to make sure there are no surprise attacks. What have we got? Okay, I need to be wary of that because I've not really got anything there at all. He's doing the business, they're moving. We're already sorting out that situation. Right. Let's make use of our ships. Let's really put the pressure on. Nothing to be done there. I mean, three units of peasants and a Nubian spearman. I'm not sure if I'll even bother fighting that, we'll see, but I don't plan on doing much with that. Hmm, okay. That, we need to make sure that Salamis remains open as a port. So... Let's get them gone. You know, I'm going to keep you two together just in case something comes out that we can't see. I think, unless I've forgotten something, I don't think I have, we might be ready to end the turn. Spies, let's just have a quick look see if there's anything here. Is that a big stack? Please don't be a big stack. It's not a big stack. Okay, good. Move you back here. And what is our diplomat doing? Nothing as of yet. Let's go to Gaul. And then... I think... We're about ready to move on. Right. 
here they come. Bugger. Right, we're just going to have to do some good old-fashioned blocking. And hope for the best. I mean, we'll definitely retake it, but we really want to take out those elephants. Hopefully they're stu I mean, what they'll probably do is just pile on in. Um, hopefully they'll just attack. They've, I know they've got three rams. Hopefully they'll just focus on one side of the wall and not come at us from three directions because that means that we can really focus our Nile Spearmen. Because the last thing that we want is to have Nubian Spearmen at the front to take on a full assault from elephants and for them to just break Before really quickly. Oh, it's a night battle. West, this battle will be done. Well, the sun has already sunk. Whether the day goes well is in our hands. Oh, brave soldiers, let us fight well. Indeed. Await my orders. Right, yeah, they're doing what I wanted them to do, and that's everything from one direction. Let's have a look at some elephants. Do they have archers on the back? Because that would be quite unfortunate. No. No archers. The elephants are quite kind of small. Actually, no, they're probably in. Good, oh no, they're in the right proportion to the size of a horse. That's fine. So they've got militia cav easily disposed of. I don't know how to see this unit info. I don't think I can. I'm assuming levy pikemen are one step down from militia hoplites because they're a much bigger unit. This will be close, I think. I think this will be a close fort thang. So. Let's have one of you here. Why are you not doing that? Come on. What's wrong? Come on. Just doesn't like it. Quickly, quickly. Oh, that's annoying. Hurry. Okay, fine, whatever. Hurry. Spearman. Another unit of spearmen to go like here. Spearman. Nile spearman. And you kind of here. Quickly. And then Nubian spearmen can support as needed. It's not going to be any more fancy than that. Right, if they're going right the way round, that's going to be kind of annoying. Completed, great lord. Where are you heading? Hopefully they might get shot by the towers as well. Oh wait, no, I haven't got fucking towers, have I? Because I didn't... They're only there. Shit. It's annoying. Come on. I mean, okay. Oh. I mean, that watchtower is just hitting my own walls. Brilliant. Right, Nubian spearmen there. You spearmen here, and then we've got one flexible unit in, in reserve. This unit needs to sort itself out fucking quickly, man. Come on. Yeah, great job. Come on. Sort yourselves out because they're coming. You know what? I might just have to do that. Either way, just sort yourselves out like now. Oh no, I lost some men. Now we must kill them in the street. Oh, this is gonna go wrong. Fuck. 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 Come on, spears down. Oh, good heavens. Oh my god.
Okay. That's fine. Just pile in your cavalry and I'll slaughter it as I go along. Right, we're going to put everyone in guard mode. Everyone is already in guard mode. Good. Shit on it. Here they come. We're just tearing them apart. Oh my god, here come the elephants. Okay. Oh, look at that. He's already dead. Fuck you. Please run amok. The elephants have already broken. Okay, this is going well. This is going very well. And to think I was concerned. I mean, that in itself is quite hubristic, but, <laughs> you know. Thinking about moving and swapping these units out because I really can't risk losing my own general at this point. Oh, wow. A fucking piling in. Why does it say that victory is looking... Okay. They're taking a battering out. They are literally just forcing their way in. The walls belong to the enemy. Look now to right, the keep killing the elephants. Oh, fucker. One unit there can easily hold the line. Oh my goodness. No excuses can be made for fleeing like this. Come on. Oh my goodness, they are literally just forcing their way in. Fuck! Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. This is not good. See, I told you it was hubristic. They've literally just... Oh no, this is mass routing. What is going on? Why are you running away? Balls. Right. Okay. Come on. Oh, shite. They're just immediately routing it like. What an absolute shambles. Insta route from the Nubian spearmen because they're fucking terrible. How did that go from going so... Why are they running? They didn't even... I don't understand. They're just immediately routing. Because I lost my general. Well, that was our worst performance to date. They just piled in and we were absolutely slaughtering them. And then we were just beaten by Militia Hoplites. Absolute shameful performance. Right. You fucking idiots. Get back in there. Why are your pikes not down? Why are you not in... Oh, why are you not in phalanx formation? And they're routing. Absolute morons. What a shambles. What a fucking shambles. Pathetic. Just have you there. Just because we need one man as a last man standing. Well, oh, they've already routed. Great. Get back in there, you fucking idiots. Useless. Useless. Utter fucking cowards. You shame the, fa the pharaoh. Come on, line up. Oh my 
god, they're just insta routing. It was it was losing my general that did it. We know that. It was losing my general. I killed theirs so early, but as soon as I lost my general, that was it. Pikes down. Can get it right. Oh, now, now you're deciding to actually kill some of them, huh? More insta routing. Pathetic. Our army has been soundly beaten. And even now, oh my goodness oh my goodness well what can we say I did I did what I could I did what I could but that was just it. as soon as I lost my general that was it morale was just shot to pieces I was trying to steady the center by coming in from the sides but no nah, nothing nothing doing we will uh, avenge that loss we will avenge that loss. We shall have our Rowenge. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, they've just moved past us. Right. We now have our spies. To do spying. I'm so tempted to just fuck him and take Antioch instead. <laughs> Which spy is better? We've got a five and a three. Right, you're going in there. You're going up there. Right. Well, we're going to sally forth with one of these and take out one of these stacks. Which should be very easy. And then we might take out the other stack with this army. Move you up there. You're going back to Alexandria. And you're coming up here. You've got four units of cat. To be fair... We could do with giving this Nile Spearman to this army. So that's what I may do. Just to have one more dominant stack and then one army in reserve. March. Just in case. We'll do that. Sire. Onward. Build tower. Onward. Well, it is what it is. Luckily, it's not really affected. All oh, the following facts broken to the alliance, and they have declared a ceasefire. Okay. We're now the strongest faction, despite the fact we lost the settlement. Interesting. Alexandra's feeling a bit better about themselves. Sidon is where we're doing loads of retraining. So let's finish that off. Like that. Ah. Okay. I think a port could be in order. So that saves us only 27. And we can up the tax right now. Let's do that. Huh. I thought that would add more. I'll be honest. I thought that would do more for us. And I thought this would have a do a better job of reducing corruption. We'll throw in a port to begin with. Okay, so we're getting there in terms of uh, population growth. Corruption is still like our number one issue. Roads don't help anything. 
that's going to add another 0.5% to, to growth. And it's giving us an extra 70. That's giving us less. We'll go for better farming. That's all we've got to do from that perspective for now. Let's commit to that blockade. What is wrong with you guys? Come on. More peasants. Ships ready. Yes, mighty lord. I you know what? Lord. I am actually just gonna do that. And then retrain this ship. So we'll put that in, that's fine. We're moving you up. You're dealt with. You come back home. And retrain. Now public order is fine. We just have to hope that out of nowhere we don't get attacked here, because that would be rather unfortunate. Ah, uh, we're dying. But, that's okay. That's nothing. That's just their faction here. That's their faction leader. I think we have more to gain by wiping out these two big armies here. And I think that's what we're going to do. They can have Hatra. We're going to have Antioch. We're going to smash these two armies. We're going to retrain up. And then take things from there. I've just got a work call coming in, so I'll be back in a moment. And we're back. Sorry about that, boys and girls. Let's get back to killing Seleucids, because that's what we like doing. And let's pursue. Right. We are going to smush them. We've only got one unit of cavalry, which is a little bit annoying, because I'd like to have more. But we make do with what we've got. It'd be great if we can get a good few battles in this episode as well. Really start hammering home. Even if we don't end up taking settlements. In fact, we might actually end up this settlement negative this a settlement. Will be a grim day. All days of battle are grim, but how much worse must the day be for our foes? They face us, the finest soldiers in the world! I mean, you say finest soldiers in the world, but that obviously doesn't include the fucking idiots that we had fighting for us at Hatra. Absolute cowards. Right, archers in front. You guys there, and let's put you on this side. Should I? Just a bit concerned about that being in the way, but there's a nice hill there, and I'd rather be doing downhill charges if possible. Right, let's make this work. We've got the hill as well. I didn't realize I had that much cav. It's militia cav, that's Greek light cav. Most of it's missile cav, so that's fine. Okay. Cavalry. Are they spearmen? They are, okay. With all haste. I need to be careful here. these boys could get into position as quickly as possible. Right, let's limit this. In fact, have them. You can win this. Uh, what are you doing? Attack! Attack, you fools! There we go. Now we're working. Now we're working. Let's go. Fuck you. Okay. They can do one. See him off. Yeah, that'll be fine. 
Even if they do come back, we'll deal with them, no problem. With all haste. Let's move our chariots forward. Oh, the archers are doing great work as we knew they would. Look at that. Just chewing them up. Love to see it. Speed things up briefly. Need to be careful just in case their cavalry somebody decides to start maneuvering. Love your work, archers. Love your work. No, this isn't the greatest to watch, but I mean, why would I move right now when I've got the complete tactical advantage? I think the only thing I'm going to change... I'm surprised that they've got range. I suppose they're on the hill, aren't they? I'm going to move these boys forward just a little bit like that. And realign you a little bit like that. And hope they don't suddenly decide to launch forward cavalry while I'm maneuvering. There we go, now everyone's firing. Because these two have got far more ammunition. I don't have a general. No, there's no general in this, is there? General. Yeah. Let's move you guys forward. Love it. Love your work, gents. Okay. Let's slightly move forward again and just realign like that and then let's move our archers like there mm, no there just don't want to go head to head with Greek cavalry because I just don't know how I'm going to fare and I'd rather not I'd rather not lose my cavalry because they are quite important Right, munch these guys up. Oh, yeah. Oh, big mistake. <laughs> oh. I'll lose a couple of spearmen, but that's fine. Just get wrecked. I've lost two. Big deal. I, I am now out of ammo with these guys. So we're going to pull these guys back. I want to keep our archers intact. They're running away. They're running away. Don't want to pursue because they got their cavalry there as well. Oh, just. Even though they're in loose formation, we're just absolutely slaughtering them. No doubt they'll probably be up route soon. What's happening with the rest of these? They're not withdrawing. Let's do another reshuffle. Shorten the line a little bit. And move forward these guys. Yep, need you grouped. I'd rather you were on the high ground. So at least if we do have to engage their cavalry, they have to charge uphill. And then my chariots can pursue. Doing everything they can to move those, to move that cavalry out of archer fire. Move, move. 
Oh, we're running out of ammo. You move back here. Quickly. Time is getting close for us to. Oh, are you out? Not yet. But this should be your, probably your last volley. Make it count. Yeah, nice. And that's you done as well. All right. You guys back here. Let's do this. To be honest, it wouldn't be bad for us if this cav committed, because then we'll sandwich them. They're just going to take out these. Keep moving, boys. We don't actually want to be charged by them. Interesting, okay. This should be a good idea. I say should be. Our chariots should make light work of them. Yep. They're broken. Lovely. Love your work, boys. We get to shoot them in the back, and as soon as they rout, I'll charge them. In the meantime, go on. Try and charge me, see what happens. Yeah, that's what I thought. What you want to do? You sure? Thought not. We're gonna have to pull out of this pretty sharpish to avoid the pikes. Okay. You want some? You want some? I'll give it ya. Oh. Gorgeous. Alright. This will be the slowest charge ever. Mop these guys up. Here we go. Now attack them from behind and absolutely smush them. There we go, job done. Happy days. Well done, fellas. Didn't lose many. Just under 30. Uh, you can cease fire. Don't want to be shooting any of my own troops. You can stop.
I'll let you mop these up, lads. That's a job well done, I reckon. Orders complete. Victory is yours, and no one can argue that it is not both well deserved and worthy. That is pretty one-sided, I'd say. That's pretty damn one-sided. Hopefully, the, the entire stack will just be dead on the campaign map. Always better that way. Victory is ours, mighty one. Uh, I don't see them anymore. My liege. Now, do we just use this stack again and just hold Palmyra? Tempted. Mighty general. Or do we sally forth with this and... I'm just worried about... Like... Having enough points, I should be able to get back in. Is it worth risking it though? You know what? Okay, now we're gonna have to retreat back to the settlement like that. We'll have them one way or another. That force isn't good enough to take them, but we'll knock out that force as well. Did they deal a proper blow to the Seleucids? Then as soon as that's retrained, we'll throw them in there. We've already got them locked down there. Right, we're building, we're building. Let's just sort out a few things, because we do have a decent amount of money. So... What do we want to do over here? I do think we still need to be careful of our public order. We need to find the right balance. That's not going to add us anything. That's adding a 70. Yes, that gets us Bowman. Okay, fine. Okay, so that's 126, but that's quite expensive. Public baths. Execution Square Hmm You know what, I think we'll go an Execution Square because I don't It doesn't matter how long this place takes to Expand, really So here, this is where we're going to be able to get our Ferris Bowman and our Onagers Building there that's good. Things are happening. Yeah. Ah, right. Damascus. Damascus, what should we do with you? Let's do that. Just to help with some public order. That's fine. That's fine. Can't do anything here, even if we wanted to. Sirene's fine. I think I've already checked these places. Yep. The wheels are turning. And the Seleucids are dying. Good. I am going to... Do some more recruitment. What do we need? Plenty of archers there. We could do with some more... Both more archers and Nile Spearmen, really. We'll throw those in. And an I'll spin in there. We're giving you some more peasants. Mighty General. Right. Time to move on, I reckon. Have we moved our diplomat? Ah. Ooh. That just looks so nice, doesn't it? We won't be fighting them for a little while longer. Yes, my liege. Right, what are we looking at here? A most generous proposal. Show us what you know. 300 denarii. What do you consider? Okay, Our fine, thanks. whatever. Sweet. Okay, next, Britannia. Looks like they've been pushed back. I will speak with them at once. And then we'll... Oh, no, we can go there. 
if we don't come across them sooner and then we'll go down to the Spaniards and then I think that's pretty much everyone to be fair will have explored all corners Let's see what the Seleucids do. Oh, are they gonna... Ah. <laughs> oh dear. I'm not even gonna bother. Oh, they look quite cool. Dies to chariots. I'm almost tempted just to see what they look like, but nah. Oh, look, we did far... They did far better than I would have done, to be honest. With peasants. Fine, take it. See if I care. That little Pontic ship is back. She'll deal with that. I, great Lord, make ready for combat. Bosh. Victory. Get fucked. Okay. Settlement occupied, yes. Yeah. So we have lost two settlements. Two this episode that's not great that is not what we were hoping for right oh, Alexander you've literally just been given better sewers and you're fucking complaining god damn it god damn it I'm never going to use these. And they're very expensive. I don't want them. They are good, though. Annoyingly, they're good. I don't want to use them. I know that this will probably upset some of you, but I'm just going to disband them. I'm going to save myself, like, in excess of 600 a turn. I have some peasants. Right. What are we doing? I think... We need some more public order buildings. The station? Where from? Okay, that adds on some money, but we do need to be thinking about this. So, there's probably more to be gained by building an execution square. If I'm being honest. So, we're going to do that. Ah, Memphis. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look how strong they are. I mean, their upkeep is quite high, but they are an elite fucking unit. Melee attack 9. Their melee attack is only slightly less. They're my axemen. And they've got better defense because of their armor. Not because of their defense. Oh, they've got the same defense skill. They've just got no shields. I mean, yeah. Cool. We're going to want onagers. So we can start planning perhaps an attack on Antioch. At some point. Or just sniping out a settlement somewhere else. I do want to start getting these though. Oh, thank you very much. Now. Can, is anything to be gained yet by a port? No, there just isn't. I do think it's about time we started building blacksmiths, though. Oh, we could get Pharaoh's Guard. They take two turns as well, but they're elite. That's the thing. Getting our elite troops is expensive and time-consuming. We don't need the large stone walls. No one's attacking Memphis. Let's put in a blacksmith. I feel like that's a good idea. Better as a market. Cool story, bro. A little bit. Okay, corruption's not great, but not great on public order either. So let's put in some sewers. Bostra. Right. What are you saying, Bostra? Okay, so we can do that. We can do this. Uh, but I mean, that is what we're going to do. We're going to build a port. 
Palmyra now has its temple to set. Which is very useful. We are going to... I mean, that certainly helps the economy, but I'm going to put in... What am I going to put in? Three turns. My worry is that within three turns we'll have moved on to the point we don't need the militia barracks. That's why I'm thinking. So we shall have the roads. We shall go down the road route. And Halicarnassus now has... Oh dear. Oh. Well that wasn't what we were hoping for. This is this this is not I I didn't plan for this. Right. Um we don't have we can't get anything. And I don't believe there are any I go here. There are no mercenaries of it. Oh, okay, we have mercenaries. We are getting mercenaries. You, you, and you. We get you're gonna be needed. Thank God for those mercenaries. We might actually have a chance. Especially with two generals that we'll need to sally out from the sides. Fuckers. Motherfuckers. Hope YouTube doesn't downgrade this because I'm swearing. Right, we were about to attack that, weren't we? We need to move you up. You know what, let's just see, can we get there in time? We can't. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna fight it. I'm gonna fight it. I'd ideally like to have used the other army, so I probably should have used the other army to make them retreat, so I could get them with my better one, because I've got cavalry, more archers, just take fewer casualties. But that's okay, it's not the end of the world. Let us pray to the heavens and then take up the sword and bow. Okay, cool. Thanks. Oh, this is annoying terrain. How shall I... Shall I just have one big wall, or shall I give them... Two lines. Shit at the front. Quality at the back. There's definitely a euphemism in there somewhere. Or a dirty joke. Oh yeah, they're sandwiched. But will they be enough for Love it. Victory? Love that. Okay, they're militia cavs, so they're not gonna just ball rush me. Right. They are so screwed. I've like half committed this side. Get running, chaps. Well, they got peasants, peltests, peasants, militia hoplites. And they're like deciding whether they want to commit or not. That's fine. I mean, we'll win this exchange. Oh, has this general not got. Um, oh, this one's just heavy chariots rather than missile. Interesting. Is he? I don't know. 
Oh, there we go. Oh, fuck, I forgot them to put down their spears. That's okay, they're only peasants. Right, to be fair. You can charge. Which hopefully will make them rout very quickly. There we go. What's happening over here? Bit of a stalemate. Just mop them up. Here they come. They will rout very quickly, though. Which is good news. They're sliding down the hill. I've heard, I've heard of sliding into the DMs, but this is slightly different. Char Chariots are not very good at sort of like mopping up routing troops. In you go. Take out the peasants. Shoot at the same time. There we go. Lovely. Interesting, they're charging my chariots. That's going to be a losing strategy. So they're now routing. Oh. Of course there's point in killing him, you muppet. Charge. Yeah, we got this. We got this. get this done I mean they will be able to retreat I won't be able to mop them up enough annoyingly because I haven't got the right cav but we'll do significant damage Are they Peltests or Peasants? They're Peltests. Only 29 of them. They're more important to take out. Oh! Get out of the way. How are you getting on? You're doing f just fine. Hope I don't kill my own men there. Now we look to sandwich them in. You do your best to mop up these hot potatoes. I wonder if they run into... Oh look, so they're half on the battlefield. But they can still take him out. Well that's good, isn't it? I like that. I didn't know that was a thing. Probably isn't meant to be, but... You know. Done. 
Oh. You're losing men. It's not what we planned. Uh, if you could, like, get good ASAP. Well, that was a little bit messy. Good. Ah, there we go. Okay. Let's have it. Time to clear up. I'm assuming my chariots don't actually kill my own men. I am making that assumption. Hopefully that's safe. That, I think, was well executed. I don't fanny around after those, though. Killing them is more important. Oh, I am killing my own men. Buggeration. Come on, finish him off. I got nowhere to go. You know what, I'm going to tell these guys to cease fire. Don't want to have them shooting my own men in the back. Last couple. Go on. Victory lies in your grasp. We'll take that. We lost 211, but these things happen. Let's see what happens to the army. Well, I'm assuming it's just been destroyed because I can no longer see it. Mighty General. Good work. Sire. We're going to want somewhere that we can retrain. Now, I, you know, I'm going to take them to Sidon because Sire. at Sidon we can also get their, uh, the upgrades through the blacksmith. Only lost a couple here. This army is moving up as well nicely. And we're going to give Order. them... A lot of our now. Spearman. Palmyra is safe. Good. We're ready for a strong counter attack. This is a problem. One that I do not have a solution for. Are we still recruiting? Not everywhere. We need to be. I want more troops. More troops everywhere. We're getting some fairest bowmen. I want Nile Spearman from you. And I want Bowman from you. Nile Spearman there. Yeah. That's better. We're getting somewhere. Okay. Let's end this turn. Oh, yeah, we're moving. Moving our boy up here, and I forgot about this guy. Damn it. That's good. Actually, because that's happened, we can deal with that which we forgot. And I'll just do one more there. And then up in Europe. There's nothing around us, is there? No. It's a shame. Okay. Blood.
bloody pontons. Oh, okay, the Greeks didn't attack. That is good news. Suitable husband, sure. But where are you? Down there, okay. Management one, what's this dude's management? Also one, but it's just a better commander. That's fine. Throw that in. Interesting. We're again the strongest faction. Recruitment happened. Okay, Salamis. You're a bit happier now, which is good. Now I could that could be a good idea. Or which is more expensive. 1600 for three turns. That's 1600 for three turns. Hmm. That's not doing anything for us. That had 600. Well, with. I mean, can't argue with that, can you? We'll leave that in there. Jerusalem now has its port. Put the tax rate on high. What do we want to do at Jerusalem? Could put that in. Academy, the armor looks kind of cool. We don't really need the armor, do we? I think we're going to put in an execution square just to keep public order nice and steady. Sidon now has stables. Probably going to want to... What am I going to want? Income is good here. I still haven't even built a basic land clearance. I think the choice... I think... It's either got to be an armourer, a cavalry stables, or city barracks. I don't want to continue to have to ferry troops over from from this area to get the good shit where we need it. So I'm going to put in a city barracks. Cyrene has its port. We want to reduce the corruption. That's not really worth it. Public order's fine. Let's just start doing that, just in case we do start getting attacked at some point, which should eventually happen. Damascus. Um, let's get some wooden walls. You go in there, and we're going to send you over this way. Mighty General! We're moving this army up anyway. So we'll do it like this. And hand over your good spearmen. How many more recruitment slots? Don't have any more slots. We've got one, two, four cavalry, three archers, some desert axemen. That's a that's a good force. And we're gonna go on the offensive with it. This force, I need to work. I just, just Nubian spearmen are just kind of crap. They're just trash. I can use it as like a holding force, maybe, or I can take some of the better. Yep, yeah, there we go. That's a solution. So we're going to take these, put them in there, give back. Oh. The Nubian spearmen. That is probably two, almost too many archers, actually. Throwing in our spearmen. More Nile spearmen for everyone. Okay. And I think that is where we will wrap things up. 
we have lost two settlements this turn, I'm afraid to say. We lost Ankara and we lost Hatra, but we also smashed the, uh, the Seleucids in the field. And we are now kind of poised to really move and proper, make a proper counter-offensive. All of their ports are currently besieged or blockaded. In fact, I still can't throw in any recruitment here. Which is a shame. I am a little bit concerned about these troops. Their attack is 10, alternative attack 8, and defense 9. That That is... So my... How, wait, did I say 9 or 19? 19, shit. Luckily, I have lots of archers. Which we are almost certainly going to need if we're going to have any hope of defending. And our chariots can certainly take out their general. So, we have that. It might even be worth sallying forward and fighting them in the field. But they might bugger off. I just don't know. I'm unsure, undecided. Let me know in the comments down below. What should we do? Should we sally forth and actually uh, declare war on the Greeks? Should we wait for them to come to us? And how do we go about finishing off the Seleucids and taking these three settlements from them? Um, let me know. If you liked it, drop a like. Um, drop me a comment down below to let me know your tactic suggestions um, and if there's any way I can improve the content. And please do consider subscribing. But for now, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.